welcome back to Old Mac New Life. In the past few videos, we've been exploring a Power Mac G5 I received as a gift. It was a gift, that means it originally belonged to someone else, which means I'm logging in with someone else's name and password. It works, but I'd like to set it up as my system with my own account without losing any of the software or documents installed. Fortunately, there is a way to do this. However, it is not entirely without risk, so we're absolutely going to run a current and complete system backup, so off to SuperDuper. Okay, let's get SuperDuper going here. All that. You do another applications. <clears throat> and super duper somewhere around here. Okay. HD, yep, yeah, looks good. Absolutely. Okay, and this isn't going to take hours, but it's going to take a little bit anyway, so we'll just come back when it's done. See you in a bit. Okay, and yes, that is done. So, we can go ahead and close out Super Duper. Okay, it's done. So, next thing we're going to do is reset the password. I already had to do this when I received the computer to get some hardware and software working, but I can do it again for demonstration purposes, since this may be the first thing you have to do when you get a secondhand Mac. So, okay, next thing to do would be to power on or restart the computer. When you hear that familiar Mac startup sound, hold down the Command and S keys. This will start the Mac in single user mode, which is sort of a text-based mode for performing administration tasks on the computer. So we're going to do that right now. You are fussy. <laughs> I hit the damn button. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Try again. Hey, there we go. And that is single user mode. All right. Okay, first up is me to type sh space slash etc slash rc do that and it's going to put a whole lot of messages out here okay now we're going to type p a s s w d space then the name of the username of the account of the password we want to change Okay, we're going to type in the new password. You're not going to be able to see it as you type. So pay attention, I guess. Press enter. Then we're going to press reboot, and hopefully we can log back in with the new password we created. And that looks very promising. I hear it ting. Okay, the next step would be to alter the existing user account's home folder to the username you wish to use. And to do that, we're going to need to enable the root account. The root user on a Unix system such as macOS is essentially a super administrator with the power to do virtually anything on the system, including thoroughly break it. So use with caution. Anyway, the procedure for enabling root varies slightly depending on which version of the OS you're using. Since this is Tiger, we'll use a utility called NetInfo Manager. So, I'm going to open a Finder window. Uh, navigate to Utilities, which is going to be in Applications. Oh, utilities, there you are. Okay. And look for NetInfo Manager. There it is. Go ahead and start that. Okay, we're going to have to unlock the lock right there. And we're going to use the uh, password we just uh, set to. Really? OK. 
Yeah, tight. There we go. Okay. Then we would go into okay, the security menu. You can choose enable root user. Alert the root password is currently blank. Please set a non-trivial root password for this machine. Okay, we go ahead and close NetInfo Manager. Reposition that lock. Quit. Okay, so I'm just going to close that too. Okay, so now we're going to log out of the current user account and back into the new root account, which is enabled. Let's log out first. Jump ahead of ourselves. I do. Okay. Yes, Mr. Other. Okay, the username, which is be root. And password. I cannot type worth a damn. Thank you. Okay. Okay, now we're going to Finder. Oh, we're already in Finder. Nice. Macintosh HD, and then Users. There they are. Okay. I'm going to go to the user account we want to change to our user account. Okay, so we have that folder, and we're going to change the name. I think I have a name for you. This is essentially going to be the short username, so there cannot be any spaces or special characters. So... There. Okay, now we go into the Apple menu. Select you, not there, system preferences. There we go. Go to accounts. Okay, you're going to create a new account. You're going to get a new account has the same short name as that new, as that folder we just renamed. So it's going to be And go ahead and set the password here. Set it to whatever you want. And then enter it again to confirm. And this is where you enter the actual uh, username you'll be logging in with. Okay, yes. Of the user to administer the computer. Folder in the user folder already has the name Old Mac New Life. Would you like to use this folder as the home founder for this user account? I absolutely would, yes. I would love that. It's now creating the account. Okay, let's go ahead and close these up here. Oh, lock that, please. Thank you. And that, now we're going to log out of root. And we're going to try and log into that user account we just created. So, yep, that's me. I do. Uh, we're going to change that user icon at some point, but okay. Let's go ahead and uh, select that account. Oops. That looks promising because there's that folder, that uh, DOS games folder that was there. Uh, at this point, uh, you would kind of play around a bit, making sure you have access to all the files and uh, apps you would expect to. Uh, if you're satisfied that you do, you can go into accounts and delete. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here's uh, preferences. I see that. Which you actually have to be root to do so. I won't be doing that just yet. <laughs> so, other.
Okay, so back to preferences. Counts. Okay, then select the old uh, user account, delete, and bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to log back into my regular user account. Okay, now that that's done, maybe a quick word about what to do about that root account. Um, it's up to you, of course, but unless you think you're going to be doing uh, things like this pretty routinely, um, I probably would just go ahead and disable it because of the, like I said, the root account can do everything, including breaking the system. Um, there's other ways to get around routine administrative tasks besides the root account. So, go back to Finder, Applications. So if you really, really need in the future, you can always re-enable it. Which is in Utilities. There we go. They're really bugging me about fonts. There we go. Fat lock. There we go. Security. Disable root. Well, yes. <laughs> Okay, and that should do it. Okay. okay, one more thing we can do before we go is change a computer name. This is the name the computer will appear under on your network. So uh, it's really quick and easy. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, the first step is going to be going to the Apple menu, System Preferences, and Sharing. And up by computer name, if you want to hit the edit button, you can set the go ahead, that, you can set the local host name. Uh, this would be the name you use to access this computer from other computers on your local network. Not exactly the same thing as computer name, but you can set it. Okay. Then up big surprise where it says computer name is where you can set the actual name of the computer. Set it. Okay, close that. Close it. And look at that. The computer now shows up in Finder on another Mac uh, with a new name we just gave it. So, success. And that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you like this type of video, why not subscribe to the channel? Anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.